Hey, Moran Pober here with another video in this module. And this one is all about how to get paid on deals that you didn't close. So obviously, guys, we're not going to close 100% of the deals, right? It's like anything in uh, in life, right? It's not you, you can't uh, score 100% of the shots that you, you try to, to get, right? So it's just like common sense. But this video is all about showing you how to still get paid on deals that you didn't close. So you'll basically get the most out of every business owner that you're talking with. Now, obviously, sometimes what we want is impossible or uh, we just don't want to do the deal, right? I mean, many deals you'll get access to or you could do. Maybe you just don't want to do them. I know I have this case uh, a lot right now. Like, I won't take any deal. So many of the deals I, I'm getting in touch with, many of the business owners I'm getting in touch with, I'm trying to find different ways to get paid uh, and not just becoming their partner or doing equity share or profit share deal, deal. So I want to show you all those ways on how I think when I meet business owners. And basically, I want you to open your eyes in this video. I'm going to show you different perspectives on looking on things, basically. Because many people... They're looking at just one opportunity when they're talking to a business owner. I want to show you that with everyone you talk in with, you have few opportunities to make money. And I'm going to show you the ways that I'm um, looking for to, to basically um, get some money from every deal I'm doing, even if it's not the main focus of what I want to achieve. So, yeah, there are more ways to still get paid. So far, what we talked about um, is basically the number one is basically providing a service or product for a flat or monthly fee. That's kind of like um, what most people out there are doing if they have a service or product they want to sell. What I introduced you in this course is all about providing service or product for equity or profit share. But now I want to show you a few more ways um, it's going to open your mind. So, yeah, one or two, uh, we went through them. And here are some other ways you can make money. So three, you can broker deals. Four, you can JV between businesses. Um, JV is joint ventures. Five is referrals. And six is mergers and acquisitions. So let's talk about um, a little bit about each. Um, yeah, so who we know that can help us make money from this existing relationship that we build, right? So we're going to build so much um, we're going to get, get to know so many people. I mean, if you're doing the, the work on originating deal flow, you're going to talk to many business owners and you want to always think about how can I make money from the relationship that I already built. So when meeting people, always say what you're doing and you always want to add the fact that you're just in touch with many business owners. It's just what you're doing, right? Um, obviously, if you're helping businesses, then you're in touch with many business owners. So you always want people to understand that. And like I said, it's true if you're working on originating deal flow constantly. And what you can do is everyone you meet, I don't care who out there you meet, you can, uh, and, and obviously it's better to build a relationship first, but at some point you can just ask him, hey, are, are you paying commissions for referring clients or business to you? Or just ask him, hey, if I'm going to bring you a client, are you, I, I, can you pay for me bringing it to you or helping you find a client? Or how much will you pay me if I'll find you a client? And no one will say no to save um, on customer uh, acquisition costs, right? If you can get business a customer, a paying customer, no one will say no to, um, well, obviously there are chances that it will happen. I mean, and I saw some cases, uh, but basically, most businesses, they want more customers. They want more potential opportunities to make more money. So you always want to look out for those things and look for businesses who um, just have their needs and you want to help um, them feel that needs, basically. Um, yep, yeah, so everyone you talk to, see if there is an opportunity to either refer clients to them or just figure out what, what is their need. Like every business owner you negotiate with as well, you're going to figure out what they need. And then maybe you find out that one business need X and you had a call two weeks ago with a business that can provide that X. And you can be that person who basically in the middle, who making money from uh, basically introducing one to each other. 
So yeah, every business has some pain or potential to grow more. You want to find him the right person to help him solve his pain if he can't do it himself. And you just want to get paid doing so. Uh, exactly what I, I explained. Or um, JV, joint venture those deals. Find another business with similar market but a different product that can help promote X product to his customers while you earn a JV fee for introducing them. Or you can also take percentage of profits from having, from basically bringing them to bringing them together and starting that relationship. And it's definitely a common thing to do. Or um, you can just broker um, a deal for a commission. So if a business that you're talking with, you just want to sell, maybe, maybe it's just like I want to sell the business, uh, but I'm looking for someone to buy. And maybe you had a conversation again a few weeks ago with someone who's looking to buy a similar business. So why won't you just introduce them to each other and get a commission um, either from a broker or directly from a buyer? And this is, I, I can help with that. So definitely get in touch with me if you hear about a business that want to sell um, because we're looking to buy businesses as much as we can. Um, and yeah, brokers, if you're going to refer deals to brokers, they will pay you at least 20% of their commission. So they usually get uh, up to 10% of a deal, sometimes less, um, usually less. But um, any broker out there will give you 20% of their commission to get a deal going. So you can either refer them to a buyer, to someone like me, or just broker them to a, um, to a broker who will pay you whatever commission he is getting. Um, a percentage of what he's getting. So yeah, um, I hope guys it's start to open your eyes for more opportunities. Like no matter what, if you're not closing a deal, you maybe you had a conversation with a business that you personally can't help. But because you're starting to build those relationships with other business owners, just from doing so much work on their origination, and this is another good opportunity to emphasize how important it is to just focus on originating deals constantly um, like you, you see here even if you don't want to do deals just by doing more originations you can get so much more money i mean so um if i were you i would keep originating deals for as long as i am trying to do business it just like it just make 100 percent sense to get to know more people build more relationships and eventually broker them or do those deals yourself i mean why not? Um, yeah, another option is from a merger. So, and, and I'm not saying you should do all those things. I'm just showing you on, on basically a few different ways that I'm looking at deals that I'm basically in touch with. So a merger is just like finding a similar company um, maybe that we can find. So let's say we had a conversation this week with a company in Industry X. And um, in a week from now, we have another conversation with another company in Industry X. So obviously, yes, you can do those deals yourself and just help them for in return for, for equity or profit share. But another opportunity is to merge them together, which is my main focus right now. I want to find um, similar companies that we can merge and build a larger entity. Or if you're talking to an existing company and you know someone who's doing those kind of mergers, um, then reach out to them. So I'm right now, that's my focus. I'm merging companies, buying and merging companies. And you can just reach out to me and tell me, hey, Moran, I have this business. They're doing three million a year. And I think they're open to basically anything that you can offer. Um, I could then go and see if in my um, basically access to my pipeline of deal flow if I have a similar company that we could just bring together and merge and everyone will make money from it. So um, that's a great opportunity as well. And things you could say, just something like, hey, it's not the right deal for me, but I know you need to do X in the business or I'd urge you to check X, Y, Z. It can help you a lot. So those are the kind of things that you can say. So again, first of all, obviously you have your main focus, trying to get as many deals as you can doing that. But then why won't you open your eyes and look for other opportunities to make money if you can't close the deal in the way that you want to do? So I, I always try to look at different opportunities. Like right now, guys, I have calls. I have so many calls with different business owners. Like sometimes I have 10 calls a day with, uh, with different business owners. 
And most of them, I'm not going to close, I'm not going to buy them or merge them, at least not at this present moment. But having them basically uh, together in some kind of a CRM or Excel sheet and a little bit information about each, I always like to also uh, make notes in each call I'm having just to know what we talked about because in a year from now, I'm going to, even in a, in two, in a month from now, just because I'm talking to so many businesses, I'm going to look back to the business from a month ago and I don't, I don't going to remember anything. So having notes is really good for you to basically know what their needs are, what they're looking to do, what are their dreams, what are, what is their vision. And if you can't do the deal yourself, maybe in, like I said, a few weeks from now, you're going to uh, come across uh, an opportunity that fits that business exactly. So always have those things in mind. And I say another thing that I'm starting to implement right now is uh, staying in touch with those businesses. Guys, it's, you have, you, you'll see after you start originating deals and if you, you're doing it right now, you, you already see it. You start to build yourself a list of so many business, business owners, very successful business owners many times. And just having a relationship with them can help you grow tremendously. So what I'm trying to implement um, as we go is just like more follow-up kind of like process. So basically saving all those uh, people emails and just like staying in touch with them, give them personal updates, uh, maybe add some value. um, And that's something that you definitely can consider too. So what you can say um, to, to, to basically add value to those people is tell them, hey, I know someone who can help you with it or with whatever their need is. And just make it look um, legit, you know what I mean? Like make it look like you're doing him a favor for introducing him to the person that you know. So just tell him, hey, I know this person, he can help you. He usually charges 500 um, bucks an hour, but if you want, I can talk to him. And just because I know him, we could probably arrange you uh, at least one free meeting for free with you. Um, And then just make the introduction and build relationships and refer them to each other. Um, so yeah, to summarize it, guys, if you can get equity profit share deals, at least get someone, some one-time fee for having the relationship with the right people and working so hard to originate that opportunity. So again, you either close the deal yourself, right? You have your profit share, your equity, or you can just introduce people to each other. And even for that, you can get flat fees or you can get profit shares or equity by making that introduction. It's like, um, I think you try to think of a good example. It's, it's like people who, many people out there I know, they're basically a real estate, real estate investors. At least um, that's how they present themselves. But what they're doing is kind of like what I'm doing with merging companies right now, which is they go find investors who want to invest in a deal and they basically find the deal, right? So they are the middleman. They know people who want to buy the the real estate property and they can originate that deal. And what they're doing is they take in anywhere between 5 to 30 to 40% of the deal just from making everyone... Um, basically get to know the deal opportunity, right? So just from for being the middleman, and there's so much money in there. And trust me, I can tell you right now what I'm doing with merging companies. You can do it with companies that are doing 1 million a year, and you can do it with companies that are doing 30, 50 million, billion dollar a year. And it's the same process. It's just about building the relationship and knowing how to combine the dots for people around you and for that process. So definitely have that in mind. Look for other opportunities in every deal. Always be curious. It's just like having a curious mind, guys. That will change your life. So I definitely hope you'll um, take advantage of it and keep me updated.